you should be using DaVinci Resolve, or at least trying it. And I'm gonna talk more about why, but first let me say what this video is not going to be. This will not be a rundown or comparison of all the features from the possible pieces of software you could use to edit your videos, because I don't really think that matters. I'm editing this video right now and I don't know how I feel about this line, so let me just say that the thing I'm trying to communicate is that I think people get way too distracted by the technical differences between these pieces of software, and that there are more important things they should be thinking about. And that's for two main reasons. The first being, across all these available video editing software, the core functionality is shared. You can import clips, you can cut them, you can rearrange them, you can export them. Of course, there are differences how tracks work or even the number of tracks you're able to have, how easy it is to add titles or effects or transitions, but the core ability to edit video will always be there. Second, the best software for you is the one you know how to use. Every specific program takes time to learn. And it's important to remember that you will be the slowest part of any program you use. All the technical features of a new editing software won't help you if it takes you 10 times as long to make a video. And it might at first, every program has a learning curve. Bonus reason number three, we're talking about software. There are any number of reasons that any specific software might not work for you. Software can be fickle. Anything can crash on almost any system. It's awful, but it's the truth. But DaVinci Resolve. I think in the sea of video editing options, there is one thing that sets DaVinci Resolve apart, and that's the company that makes it. DaVinci Resolve is made by Blackmagic Design, and fittingly, they make magic boxes. Not really. But their company was built on broadcast quality I.O. like converters, switchers, capture devices, and film scanners. The first thing you see on their About Us page is leading the creative video revolution. And they're doing it. It's super evident in their line of cameras, but we're talking about DaVinci Resolve. Let me extremely quickly walk through how we got to the DaVinci Resolve we have today. Resolve began as exclusively a color grading software, and you would have to buy expensive hardware with Resolve built into it to use it at all. We're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. Blackmagic bought DaVinci Resolve in 2009, and I'm going to link to this interview that CEO Grant Petty did with Creative Cow because it is fascinating. And he even says the price for DaVinci systems after they've bought it would likely come in between $500,000 and $600,000. But a year later, they made a software-only version of Resolve for $1,000, and a year after that, made a stripped-down version of that software available for free. Jump to 2016, and Blackmagic had added a lot of the core editing functionality that had been missing from Resolve. But they had also purchased Fairlight, an audio editing software that previously was also tied to hardware, which cost tens of thousands of dollars, and they added Fairlight to Resolve for free. Having purchased the compositing software Fusion a few years earlier when it cost $2,500 per license, in 2018 they added the bulk of Fusion's power and functionality to Resolve for free. That is what you get when you download the free software DaVinci Resolve. But all of that to say, DaVinci Resolve is serious about accessibility and about bringing powerful tools to creators. When you decide what software to use, you are investing in a platform. You want to choose an editing home that is growing, that is improving. One of the big reasons I left Premiere Pro months ago was that it felt stale, it felt stagnant. The promise of drastic and continuous development that came with the Creative Cloud subscription model never really materialized. I was round tripping to Resolve at the time for color grading work, and every time I opened Resolve, I was so surprised how new it felt, how fresh and energized. It has my full confidence that it will continue to push boundaries and become better and better over time. The other point I wanna make is that if you are trying to be a content creator, I encourage you not to simply view learning to edit video as a means to an end. You need video content, absolutely, and learning to edit video will make your content better. But it can also make you better. 
Knowing how to edit video is a marketable skill set. It can make you money. And DaVinci Resolve has the tools inside of it that could lead to multiple different careers. Editing, color grading, audio production, compositing, and motion graphics. As you grow your editing skill set, you owe it to yourself to make sure that the hours that you are investing learning the specific tools of a piece of software offer you the best return. Knowing how to use the individual tools of a pro level software is just worth more than knowing how to use the individual tools of a lower tier software. That is the 30,000 foot view of why I think you should be using DaVinci Resolve. It offers you room to grow and it will grow with you. It can also do some really cool stuff. This is so cool, check this out. I made this social bumper in Resolve in the Fusion tab. And here in the Edit tab, it's fully editable. You can change the words, the font, the size of the tracking. And it's all drag and drop. Follow me on Twitter, by the way. I made this transition from scratch and it's fully customizable. You can change the colors. You can change the colors from a solid to a gradient and you can add motion blur. Made from scratch without ever having to leave Resolve. I wanted to make this video to really help people ask the right questions when choosing a video editing software. Resolve is really powerful. There are a number of technical reasons I believe you should choose it. But I think the two major points of this video are just better reasons. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it or you found it helpful, please drop a like. Please leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe if you want more videos talking about Resolve. We will be covering lots of specific features and methods and tools. I'm very excited about what's to come and I'll see you next time.